Leave it 851, turn right heading 183. 014 Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. American Airlines have felt the brunt of the global pandemic, similar to that of other big American carriers like United and Delta. Their expansive fleet has, thanks to the pandemic, seen the majority parked up and awaiting news of when they can return. And when, more importantly, demand will return to a level where operations can somewhat be resumed to normality. This is especially on a national level. Due to obvious changes in capacity, the carrier is also making a few changes to its overall workforce. In fact, it's quite a large change. American Airlines has announced in recent days that they'll cut 19,000 jobs in October. The cuts are no doubt big, and to help understand the overall impact this will have, and the major difference to the pre-global pandemic, American Airlines would be operating with roughly a 30% smaller workforce compared to that of what it was in March, before the airline was forced to cease the of operations and ground hundreds of aircraft. These numbers are startling and highlight the difference in redundancies when you're an airline as big as American. Focusing specifically on numbers, American will see their employees shrink to some 100,000 across the group. Before March, it was much higher than that at around roughly 130,000. United Airlines have already noted but didn't confirm these exact numbers, but they were looking at making redundancies at around 30,000 jobs, noting that all these were at risk. Meanwhile, as we know, Lufthansa has already said they could look to cut over 20,000 jobs in the future. The implications these cuts have on families are also huge, given these workers not having the ability to conveniently switch between airlines or aviation companies, as currently nowhere is hiring, or at least they're not hiring at the same capacity, and therefore cannot bring in these 30,000 people into new jobs. The US government back in March provided US $25 billion to airlines in funds to help cover the payrolls and of course therefore protect tens of thousands of jobs within the United States aviation industry. This was from March through to September. Naturally, as we approach September and with that money running out, airlines are scrambling to make adjustments in order to survive. The workers departing are made up of some leaving voluntarily and some that are being made redundant and so on. So it's not all being necessarily forced out the door. Some are leaving voluntarily and typically airlines will look to the older people to give them packages or simply note that they can head off to an early retirement. What are your thoughts on the situation currently unfolding at United and especially those major job cuts that I've been talking about? Do not hesitate to let me know. As always, thanks very much for the continued support and stay tuned for tomorrow for another interesting video in regards to job cut that I think you might enjoy, not necessarily because of the subject, but definitely understanding what's been going on. Thanks once again. See you then.